Good evening, folks. My name is Jacqueline Cousins, and we are on Chapter 3 of Lost in Paris by Sydney Colligan. So, Colligan? So, here we go. This is Chapter 3. As the bus lurched, as the bus lurched down the street of Paris, Henry asked me questions about my home, my school. I told him about my best friends, Lily Mc, McAllister and, Ale, and Addison Hepper, and I asked him questions about friends and his job. I thought it was pretty cool that he had a job at age 14. It was because friends and parents owned the whole tale. I play football, he says. You can call it soccer. <clears throat> I know what I says. Me too. I did add that. I didn't add that. I couldn't play. I could play football. I didn't add that. I could play football too. And I knew how to box, wrestle, and lift kinds of heavy weights. <clears throat> he didn't need to know that. I scored a winning goal today, he added. That's great. Congratulations. My friends were on the older other team, and they are... He made me a glow, a glowing face. He made me a glowing face about me. They're mad. They're mad? We, we could call it sore losers, I says. We call it sore losers, I said. He nodded at the new term, but I didn't think it was actually made sense to him. Our chat was short because beef, because beef, who was driving, called Henry, her loud husky voice. He hesitated to respond, but maybe she for, she would forget she bawled Henry again. She bellowed Henry again. Are you afraid of her? I asked him. We study her. We pull a, a paper clip off of a stack of stuff on the armrest. She unfolded and used the end of the pick of her teeth. Used the end to pick her teeth. A little, he said, as he wrecked really Relentlessly, he said as he relentlessly made his way up to easel to easel to the driver where he listened to her while he was way I took my notebook out of my drawing drawstring backpack and crafted a few lyrics I met a boy in French he told me about the a legend. I plan to make a wish and let it sail away on a lantern. In entreat in entry chat, we parked at a dirt field landing on the top of a rocky cliff. Beef handled everyone in group C. Lantern and Henry follow her ca with candles and lighter. There were a lot of people launching landers off the edge of the cliff, and many other tour buses parked in the, on the dirt. I took a candle, I took a candle from Henry and stuck it in a porky thumbtack, dangling inside a paper lantern. He lit it with his longer lighter. Careful not to burn the paper. I walked in. Careful not to burn the paper. I walked into the rope line that led people back to the edge of the cliff. It was just like Henry. I I had platoon. I pushed my lantern towards the stairs, letting it catch a breeze. I watched it glide to the I watched it glide into the sky. Which was a banker with brighter stars. Then in Pennsylvania then in Pennsylvania. And I made a wish. All the tourists in Group C and hundreds of others threw their lanterns into the sky too. 
It was cool how the wind got under the lantern's paper and edges and lifted as if the flame was hanging by the parachute. It looked like a swarm of slow moving fireflies gliding on the backness until a twinkle of lanterns bend into sparkles of a star. Henry stood next to me. Did you wish? Yep. And I and I'm very good at keeping secrets. I said, I'll tell you mine. I cannot hold a secret. I said, no, don't. It won't come true. It still might, Henry says. No one knows. I'm not telling you mine. The accord, he says. My wish was put my hand I put my hand over his mouth. I don't think I ever actually touch a boy's lips besides KGC's. That was my operation that was my abbreviation for Jaws Tough Tougher and Charlie. And when I covered their mouths with my hands they would lick it. So gross. I moved my hand away way before Henry could consider doing the same. Don't tell me, I said. He slouched. Like he'd given up. I didn't know how long wishes could actually took to come true. But these lanterns seemed to take effect seemed to take effect fast because I wasn't ready because I was ready uh, uh, because I already having I was already having an awesome time in France with Henry. But then he blurred out I wish this blues win the World Cup he ran and he ran away. Leave it to the boy to waste a wish on soccer. I chased him and caught him easily. Mom do you You're very fast for a girl. I smacked him in the arm. He rubbed it. Maybe I ran a little too fast and smacked him a little too hard. I would I could hit JTC as hard as I wanted to, but I had to be more careful with other boys. It's gonna be it is gonna be all your fault. They cannot lose. He rubbed his arms. They are phenomenal. From from formidable. My phone vibrated in my pocket. This only happened when I have an important update in my Twitter social media account. Look at my notice flashing on my screen. It was from Shock Value. I said Concert Shock Value had added in one additional spot on their tour. Paris. One night only. Shock Value is coming to Paris. I practically yell in Henry's face. My phone vibrated again. Another twist from Shock Value. It says parent concert sold out. Holy cow, it already sold out. I said, holy cow, Henry asked. Sorry, it explained, it's just in English, kind of like, oh my gosh. The phone vibrated for the third time. What now? I said, Shock Value's ticket concert followed a hunt around Paris and win tickets for the special one night engagement in Paris. Now, before I continue reading, remember I read the introduction about Gwen and other people had to do a scavenger hunt for just for the tickets? <laughs> May I continue on? Check this out, I showed Henry. Cow, he yelled. Look at my watch. We only been there for 15 minutes, but we had to show to get on this concert contest like double pronto. We got to get beef to get this train moving. Train? Bus. Small van, exactly, I clarified. I gotta start looking at those tickets. 
Henry wanted Henry waved me ahead. Ladies first. Yeah. My wish has already started. Beef lean lean against the fan. The van going to the pa with the paper clip again. Hi there, I said. Bonjour, I added. I kind of have to get to the hotel like right now. What's the rush? You see, there's this hand. There's this band I really like them, and they call it shock value. Who doesn't love shock value? She asked. I love that. They one called Clay. Too bad he quit. Anyway. They still great. She look at her watch. But we're on the schedule. The bus don't move until it's time. <laughs> right. I told I told agree on, with you on clay and schedules. I love to be on schedule, I said. But the band shock value, they're having this contest for the tickets to one night concert. They just added right here in Paris. And a beef doc Drop her paper clip, jump on the bus, and started honking the horn. She looked, she took her phone out and brushed her fingers across the screen, scanning pages. She honked again and again, and she stood on the ground next to the bus, hotel bus, with a megaphone. Let's go, people! We're cutting the excursion short because your music history has is being made. Shock Values has just announced a new concert, and I want to get tickets. Let's go. Everyone hustled on the bus as direct. I grabbed Henry's shirt and tugged him to rug faster. We sat near Mom and Bridget and waited for the last few people to get on the bus. Let's go. Wheels. Beef called to a man in a wheelchair who was taking longer than everyone else. He was hardly secured and she threw the bus into the she threw the bus into the drive to skip through the gravel parking area. Now she's wore a headset thing and dangled a microphone in front of her mouth. For those of you less adept on social media than Moe, I will fill you in on the 41 Twisted from Twister.com. She aggressively, she aggressively navigated around other cars pulling, pulling out from the lot. Had to hold tight to the seat in front of me so that I didn't fly into the easel. Shock Fire Nice announced one night concert in Paris for here. They haven't been quite the same since Clay bought left, Bridget says. Who's who's that? Mom asked. Bridget explains Clay was their guitarist and he wrote their music. One day he quit. I interrupted. He had just quit. He disappeared. Like totally on off the grid. Even his bandmates who were his best friends. They claimed they never heard from him. Bridget nodded and continued. The band didn't replace him. They're still the most awesome band around. It's impossible to get tickets. Who's talking? Beef barked. Who's talking? Beef ball. Let's not, people. You will miss the critical deets. The show sold out in four minutes. And a few record and a front row tickets in the backstage passes are being given away to three lucky people who follow the trail of clues in the band and that the band has left around Paris. Wait. That the band has left around Paris. If you haven't noticed, I know pretty much everything about Paris. So those babies are as good as mine. Mom, we absolutely gotta go. Have got to get tickets. I said, I'm in Paris. They're in Paris. It's like it's meant to be. 
Don't wait for a response. Where's the first clue? I call I call to beef. Seems like someone hasn't been wasn't paying attention to the instructions before we left the hotel, she snapped. The world would be total chaos if people just call out any time they want. I raised my hand, but she didn't call on me. The first clue was to be released at nine tomorrow morning. For those of us participating in this treasure hunt, we had to prepare before getting this solid eight hours of shut eye, Beef says. I know you want to be on my team, but there's the only three tickets. But since we don't have time for formal application process, I'll, I'll pick. Beef was scary and mean and picked her teeth with a paper clip. But she was, how do you pick your teeth with paper clips? How do you do that? That's just crazy. But she was on a tool guy who know more about Paris. Please pick me. She looked at a man in a wheelchair. Wheels. There's something I like about you. You're with me. You're going to. We're going to have to add a little horsepower to your motor. That guy is not riding a motor ass wheelchair. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to curse, but. The man in a wheelchair seemed to understand any of this. The Henry leaned over to whisper in his ear. Wheels clapped, then Henry finished. Apparently, he was a fan, but really. But really, I was their biggest fan. I, I could totally get those tickets. The man in the wheelchair point at a young lady with those step step scope dangling around her neck. Fine, Beef says. She could come too. Look like Grand Russell would be hunting it on a team beef. My mom whispered face softly, why don't... I don't want to get in trouble for talking, but do you think we should try to get tickets? Really? Are you serious? Shark Value, Elect, Winston, and Glenn? Occupy Fairy Inch is a very wall in my bedroom. Everyone's word. I know everyone's word in every song. Yes! I think I should try to get the tickets. Let's do it, she says. The boys are leaving at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning for La Quas. We are So we are free. I couldn't believe it. Less than a day in Paris, and I was running the tickets for Shockwave and was going to, the, to see the city of the coolest way possible. And Mom was actually on board and and with this plan I didn't know who had swapped my mom for this total cool lady but I was pretty sure it has something to do with the lantern and a certain wish that's chapter 3 of Lost in Paris I'm gonna be back to read to finish reading this book love you all a good night